आठ रुपए किलो प्याज बेचा है चार दिन से खेत में खेत में बारिश में गया प्याज निकाला है सरकार को यह ध्यान है क्या या किसान की क्या चल रही हालत तुमको मालूम है This is the new India aiming to reach the stars. This is the new India where everything is digitalized. This is the new India which spends crores on voting campaigns. But why has it failed to serve our annadatas? Will the new farm bills really improve the condition? Before understanding the farm bills, we have to know the actual condition of every farmer in the country. Farmers now have got only two choices: either to come to streets and protest or suicide on their own. NCB does not give any date of farmer suicides after 2016 in India but if we look back there are almost 75862 suicides in the period of 2011 to 2016 that's almost 1 to 2 suicides every hour the nsso report of 2013 has said that an indian farmer would earn only 6426 per month that's just 72000 per year and the nabard report of 2017 has said that it to be 8931 per month which means in 4 years there's only a change of 2500 per month the 2018 study says almost 53% of farm households are under debt and the debt would vary about 50000 to 1 lakh most of the state politicians just take farmers as voting bags and nothing more with the least salary they get they have to manage to repay debts manage household plan for the next crops buy good quality seeds fertilizers and etc even though we own 1.3 times more agriculture land than china they have managed an output 3 times more than us because they invest more in research and development what does that even give us it gives farmers a better technology better quality seeds and better output overall a better food security to the whole country well coming back to the farm mills 2020 will they fix the situation I'll explain the three bills as short as possible comparing to the previous system of farmers. The current system of farmers without these bills were mainly dependent upon APMCs. Farmers had choices only to sell their produce to local markets or APMC mandis. In the current system, farmers used to sell their produce in APMC mandis where they are supposed to pay their mandi tax which goes directly to the state government and also commission to the licensed middleman. There would also be a quality check and most of the times the middleman would find small defects in these and would offer very low prices to the farmers. These produce will later be stored there with various staff to manage the transporting, cleaning, storing, etc. There used to be a specific storage limit to essential commodities to avoid hoarding because these middlemen would buy the produce at a very low cost and stock it and later sell it at a higher price. This is black marketing and that's why essential commodities act came up. Now talking about MSP the minimum support price it is actually a fixed price at which the government would buy the agricultural produce directly from the farmers almost 22 crops come under MSP this is how the current system works now the system after these three bills are passed would be completely different i won't comment about any politics going on here but in a summary these three bills generally mean three simple things The first one would allow farmers to sell their produce to any private trader. Now they are not only limited to APMC mandis but also can sell anywhere in the country. The second one would assure a price for direct trading. This means the farmer can sign a contract with any big businessman and they can trade directly. There would be a legal penalties if he fails to pay the farmer the assured price. The third one removes the storage limit on essential commodities till a big disaster strikes in. These seem more good on a paper but practically they are more beneficial towards agriculture but not farmers and that's why farmers are protesting. Firstly, as farmers can now sell their produce outside the APMCs too, they fear that the whole agricultural community would come under the corporate hands. They also fear that this private trading system may result in shutting down of APMC mandis one fine day. Secondly, they feel the contract farming would not be sustainable every time. because a businessman would assure a good price at first but not every time a very good example for this is our amazon amazon used to offer us products free of delivery charges then later they removed it and later they asked us to buy amazon prime and later they removed the free delivery charges on that too in the same way apmc system would go away and the corporates like jio mart would rule and they may also start hoarding just like the middleman in apmc as there is no storage limits There will be no MSP on this private trading system and no government regulations. But if we go into the roots of these protests, these are actually fueled by the political oppositions. 
Even experts like Shekhar Gupta, Yogendra Yadav supported these ordinances and took these as important as 1991 agri reforms. Also PM Modi has assured us MSPs would remain and also APMC Mondays would remain and would not go away. MSP ki vyavastha jaise pehle chalti aa rahi thi वैसे ही चलती रहने वाली है दीज प्रोटेस्ट आर एक्चुअली फ्यूल्ड बाय द फेक रूमर्स विच स्प्रेड फास्टर देन द ट्रूथ इट्स इवन मोर इजियर इन दिस डिजिटल वर्ल्ड टू क्रिएट फेक प्रोपेगैंडस एंड दैट्स व्हेन एवरीवन मेक्स बेस्ट यूज ऑफ सोशल मीडिया इन अ नटशेल दिस इज द जनरेशन वेयर मीम पेजेस आर गिविंग अस द न्यूज़ एंड द मेन स्ट्रीम मीडियास आर गिविंग अस द मीम्स दो ड्रग दो ड्रग दो ड्रग दो मुझे ड्रग दो मुझे ड्रग्स दो वो कहती है मुझे ड्रग दो मेरे लिए गाय चलाओ चरस लाओ एमडीएम लाओ एक्सक्यूज़ी लाओ अरे वहां पे भगवान वेल टू बी ऑनेस्ट देयर आर अ फ्यू लेजेंड डिमांड्स व्हिच वी शुड एक्चुअली सपोर्ट फर्स्ट वन दैट एपीएमसी शुड बी रिफॉर्मड एंड नॉट रिमूव्ड If there is an increase in the number of APMC Mondays and traders there would be more competition and farmers would get good price MSPs offered to the farmers are too low and hence that should be improved as well Thirdly good amount of loan waivers must be provided to clear farmer loans and finally proper farmer producer organizations must be developed to protect the small scale farmers because almost 85% of them own less than 2 hectares and it will be very difficult for them to negotiate directly with the big corporates ultimately farmer reforms are actually good but the political intervention in this has spread hateful lies and created a scenario just like CANRC misconception in simple words you have to understand that pm modi brings reforms which are bitter to taste but very good for health our bharat has two sons one at the border and another in the fields we have to respect and preserve both dhanyawad jai hind